Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Camilla. I'm a future trainee solicitor at a top 55 UK law firm and I'm currently at law school as well. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be recreating the signature makeup look of one of the most famous lawyers in the world, arguably, and that is Amal Clooney. Amal is such an inspiration to me. Not only is she incredibly successful in the legal sphere, she's also very fashionable, classy, and she just always looks so nice. So I really wanted to kind of replicate her makeup look, which I think is quite a signature look. I'm gonna insert some pictures. One of the things I've noticed about Amal is that she has a signature makeup look. And she wears this everywhere from work to red carpet events so it's incredibly versatile and her makeup look can just work for any situation whether that be formal or um yeah fashion red carpet kind of thing amal always wears a red a pinky red sort of berry colored lipstick with coppery eyeshadow a little bit of eyeliner and lashings of black mascara so she yeah that's the look that i've noticed that she wears a lot and that's the one that i'm going to do in this video before we get into the video it would mean the absolute world to me if you could like this video if you like it and if you don't like it then you can give me a thumbs down i totally don't mind and it will let me know what sort of thing you like also, please do subscribe for more legal related content from me. I'm going to be documenting my journey to becoming a solicitor in England and Wales and I'd love to take you guys with me. So yeah, please do subscribe and hit that like button. But let's get into the video. Okay, so I've already started with my foundation done. Um, I, I can leave links to what I've used in the description box. I just didn't think it'd be very interesting for you guys to watch me do my foundation. I've just yeah done mine already i've also styled my hair in a, a way that i don't usually style it actually a very deep parting because if you notice in these pictures amal really likes to wear her hair in a deep parting i know that gen z have cancelled side partings and it's all about the middle parting but amal is just totally not phased by that at all she is rocking that side parting and i think she looks great in it so yeah I've recreated that look today. It was quite difficult. I think Amal's got such thick hair. It was quite difficult for me to get this that much volume up here at the top. But I've used some texturizing spray and a little bit of wave spray um, and some dry shampoo as well, just to try and give it a bit of body. And I've also curled, curled my hair and then um, sort of brushed it through to get rid of the, the party curl sort of look, if, if you know what I mean. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply eyeshadow. So I went to Superdrug yesterday to look for the perfect coppery shade and I found a really good one from e.l.f. It's the Bite, I don't even know what it's called, Berry Bad. It was literally only four pounds. I just specifically was looking for a copper eyeshadow and this one is cruelty free, cruelty free and vegan so that's really important to me i'm trying not to buy anything that's not cruelty free and vegan but sometimes unfortunately can't avoid it um but yeah this one this one will hopefully be good okay i'm going to start with the top matte color and then i'm going to work my way down to this shimmery color and then i might even go in with that darker color as well if it's not dark enough Amal doesn't go outside of her lid too much from what I can see, so I'm going to try and copy that. Can you see that there? I really don't recommend these eyeshadows. Oh no! This is the worst fallout I've ever seen in my life. Look at the state of that. So I just had to go and try to fix the, the um, eyeshadow situation that's happened on my face. But I've got a different makeup palette by MUA, which is also vegan, and there's some kind of coppery colours there, so I'm going to use these instead, because these don't have as much fallout. This is so strange, it hasn't happened to that side, but that side is a complete mess. And then I'm going to go over with some gold, because it's currently a little bit, um, it's very orange, I think I'd like to warm it up with some gold. I look like I've been in a fight now. 
Okay, so I have finished up with my eyeshadow. I've blended it in and I've just gone over the, core, the under eyes with concealer and a bit of powder to get rid of the fallout. And I think it's done quite a good job. I think the colour is really, really nice. Um, I think it's a little brighter in real life than you can see on camera, but um, what I've done is I've, I've mixed these colours. This palette and this colour and this colour mainly and a little bit of this colour to get the look. So I, I will link the palette in the description box for these colours. I wouldn't really recommend the e.l.f. ones because they just went all over my face. Um, but this one is quite good and also very, very inexpensive. So the next step is to do bronzer and blusher. Now, Amal is Lebanese, I believe, so she naturally has a very tanned complexion, but also she likes to wear extra bronzer from what I can see. And also she has quite a nice pinky blush on most of the time. So I'm going to try to recreate that look using the Hourglass palette. The colours are amazing. Um, there's a bronzer in there, a highlight in there, and a blush in there. So yeah, this is really great. Also vegan and cruelty free, which again is, is really important to me. So um, yeah, this is a, a really great palette that I use pretty much every day. Well, every time that I put my makeup on. So if you're looking for a new bronzer or a new highlight or a new blush or, or all three, then definitely check out this palette because it is fantastic. It's so natural looking, yet you can really see the impact. Okay, so I think Amal wears the colour quite high up on her, her cheeks. I'm going to mix some of the bronzer with the blush. This is such a nice colour. You can see how subtle it is when it goes on. There's like no harsh lines. And then the overall look is just so flawless. I'm going to dab a bit of Le Rouge on here. And I think we are done with that. So then final step, actually not the final step, I need to do mascara. Oh, and brows. Amal has very dark brows, which I do as well, but I think mine are a little bit sparse here. I'm just gonna fill them in a bit more at the front. And then, blend it out. I've also got a scar on my eyebrow. I don't think you can see it there from when I fell over when I was a kid. And the hair has never grown back. I think so many people have eyebrow scars. Have you noticed that? Let me know in the comments below if you have one as well. I know so many people with eyebrow scars. I guess we're all very clumsy as children. Okay. Yeah, Amal doesn't have really big bushy brows, so I'm gonna try and just make them more like this. I'll leave the link to the eyebrow pencil as well if you're interested in it. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I didn't know that was the name, but it's quite funny. Okay, and eyeliner, that needs to go on next. Amal's eyeliner looks quite understated so I'm going to use this Illamasqua gel liner and a brush to apply it. I think this creates such a nice effect it's not very linear like a pen more like a subtle but impactful look and I think that's what Amal is all about. She doesn't really have a wing from what I can see. Maybe a small one, but it's more like a smoky eye kind of look. So let's try to replicate that. I'll leave a link to this gel liner 
in the description as well. It's so good. And guess what? It's vegan and cruelty free. So it's, you know, the best of both worlds. It used to be the case that vegan and cruelty free makeup was not very good. And I'll be honest, not everything's great, but some things are, are really fantastic. And this eyeliner, uh, and this eyeliner is one of those. Okay, I think the eyeliner is done now. I'd like to smudge it out a bit more, but I'm a little bit scared to do that. Okay, so the next step is mascara. And so I'm going to be using Push Up Lashes Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I bought this recently and it's actually a really nice mascara. It's cruelty free, but it's actually not vegan, I don't think, from what I can see, which is a shame. Um, because if it was vegan, then it would be like my new holy grail. But because it's not vegan, I think I'm going to be looking for something else after I finish this tube. So there's a flat side which I think you use to coat the lashes and then there's like a another bit on the other side of the wand, like a more skinnier part and I think that's to push them up. I'll leave a link to the mascara as well in the description box if you are interested in picking one up. Okay, so that's the eyes done, and now we are at the final part, and the most exciting part, and also the most scary part, I think, is going to be the lipstick. So I don't normally wear fairy colours like this, so it's going to be a little bit scary for me, but we can do this together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put lip balm on, because this lipstick is quite thick. It's from e.l.f. So, like I said, I don't normally wear this colour, so I just went into Superdrug to pick up a colour that I thought would be very similar to Amal's, and so this is the one that I found. Again, it's vegan and it's cruelty-free. So, a winner, but let's see how it, how it applies and whether it's worthy of Amal's makeup bag. Now, I know that Amal's actually got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick named after her, and it's like the exact same colour that she wears. So. If you want, go and check out that colour because I think it would be better than this e.l.f. one. But I will link both of those in the description box. If you want to splurge, then definitely go for the Charlotte Tilbury one because I'm sure it'll be so much better. Um, all of Charlotte Tilbury's makeup is amazing. But if you're on a budget or just want to test out colour to see if it suits you before investing in something a little pricier, then definitely check out the e.l.f. range because they've got some really nice colours and a great range and it's so cheap. I think this was £4 or maybe £3, I'm not sure, but it's so inexpensive and the quality is okay. I mean, I don't know how amazing it is or how long it will last or whether it will um, wear nice and evenly or whether it will look sort of patchy and clingy after a few hours. But yeah, anyway, enough of me blabbing. I'm now going to put this colour on, which is like a berry red. It's e.l.f raspberry which i thought was perfect a perfect color amal does wear these berry colors so i think it's going to be perfect okay here's the moment of truth Okay, so this is definitely not the right colour for a while. It's far too pink or far too bright. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to apply a lipstick that I already had that I didn't realise I already had, which is the Shiseido, Shiseido, I'm not trying to say that, Shiseido RD305. It's a really nice red colour. I'll show you right here. I think that's a bit more Amal style, so I'm going to put that on. Um, it's not going to be as shocking pink as this one. So yeah, I went to Superdrug to get uh, makeup that I thought would be perfect for a mile, and actually I only had the stuff at home, so 
that just goes to show um, you don't need more makeup. You probably already have this stuff at home. But if you don't, then the links are in the description box. Okay, so I've just wiped the majority of the lipstick off. Although you can still see the stain on my lips, but that's fine because I'm going to go over it with this colour here. So let's go in with the RD RD305. Okay, so I've applied the Shiseido colour and I think it's a much better colour and a lot more similar to the colour that Amal wears. It's red with that tiny bit of berry um, hint that you can see here. Yeah, this is a much better colour. Although one thing that I'm going to do is blot it because it's very thick at the moment and Amal's colour seems to be more kind of like a bitten sort of style rather than you know, full on thick lipstick. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so I've now blotted my lipstick and I feel like it looks much better. It's a lot more subtle, less kind of shiny and a lot more similar to the style that Amal wears. I hope you like this look. I absolutely love it. I think it's so glamorous, so old school Hollywood and it's just so Amal and I can't wait to try this look out, wearing it to work or out with friends. Um, I'm not actually going anywhere today, apart from maybe the gym, so I might try it out at the gym, but I think this might be a bit too much, what do you think? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. I'd love to take you on a journey with me to becoming qualified as a lawyer in the United Kingdom. Um, and yeah, don't forget to give this a like if you liked it, and if you didn't, then give me a thumbs down, because that's important that I know what, what sort of stuff you do and don't like. Until next time.